Well, Kurt Volker is former U.S. Ambassador to NATO, now Executive Director of the McCain Institute for International Leadership. He's in our Washington studio. Kurt Volker, good to talk to you again. How do you read, the, first of all, this deployment of Patriot missiles? Is it significant that there will now be a foreign military deployment on Syria's border? Well, I think it is significant from one perspective, which is the inviolability of Turkish territory and the commitment that NATO has to all of its members that an attack on one is an attack on all. Uh, this puts uh, capability on the border and underlines to the Syrian government they had best be careful not to allow the conflict to spill into Turkish territory. What it does not do is address the situation inside Syrian territory, and that is where you had the warnings from the British government or from President Obama that are trying to signal to President Assad that using chemical weapons would be crossing a line with respect to the international community. And that, I think, is, is yet to be seen. What does that exactly mean, and how does the Syrian government respond to that? How real a risk do you think there is that the Syrian government might use its chemical weapons, also that they might fall into other hands, some of the extremists perhaps fighting alongside the rebels? Right. Those are exactly, there are three risks involved. One of them is that the Syrian government uses chemical weapons against its own population. A second is that it uses it against Turkey or, or going into Turkish territory. And then the third is that the Syrian government falls and these weapons fall into other hands. These are things that the American government, the British government, NATO itself are all going to be concerned about. Um, how we deal with them is still evolving. The question of uh, attacking Turkish territory, that seems to be something NATO is very actively addressing, saying that that is unacceptable and there will be a clear defense of Turkish territory. In the case of the Syrian government using it against its own people, this is the real big question at the moment. Uh, they may feel that using these chemical weapons would prolong the regime's ability to stay in power. And that, I think, is the signal that the American and British governments are trying to send, is that no, in fact, it may be quite the opposite, that if you use chemical weapons, you will draw in international intervention, and that will shorten the life of the regime even more. Our correspondent mentioned this just now. Do you see any signs that Russia is changing tack on Syria? Well, I think I was, I was listening carefully to the report. Uh, Russia has no ability to block a NATO decision. It's not a member of NATO. It's only the members of NATO who decide. So I think it was uh, interesting for, uh, for the Foreign Minister Lavrov to say that he's not going to block the decision. In fact, he couldn't. This is something that was going to go forward. But that said, the Russian government today did criticize the NATO deployment as somehow increasing tensions in the region and somehow increasing militarization of what is already a profoundly military conflict. And here, I think the Russian government is again showing that its intention is to try to protect the, Shiri the Syrian regime to the extent it can. Kurt Volker, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.